G'day, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines coming to you from the 2019 Lure Show from the Beanley Showgrounds in South East Queensland and this is a real hot pot of Australian innovation and lure and fly design. We've got the winning lures in the cabinet behind us here and we're going to take you through each one of them and the guy who made it. So the way it works is pretty simple. They make a lure, they enter it in a category and their peers, i.e. the other lure makers, vote. And the one with the most votes wins. So the first one we've tracked down here, Jamie Judd from Gobsmacked Lures. Um, you won the best swim bait under 30 bucks. Tell us about the bait. Yeah, it's a, a two-piece 85 mil um, jointed sinking bait. Uh, yeah, so it's timber body, but uh, it sinks. And the best thing about it, Australian made handcrafted lure under 30 bucks. You can't go wrong, can you? No, exactly right. 30 bucks, you know, anybody's got that in their pocket. <laughs> now, the other, the other thing you won was what a lot of guys called the big one, the best ornamental lure. It's down in front of us here. Tell us about the dragon. Um, it, it, it's sort of come from a bit of boredom. Um, get sick of doing the same monotony of everyday lures. So, you know, had to push myself and I, I thought I'd do a two-headed dragon. Tell us, just quickly, how many hours are in that thing? Oh, sort of over the last four months, about 60 hours total, I guess. Yeah, around there, so. And that one's not going to be $29.95? Uh, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got Peter Standing here from Honey Hole Lures. Peter, you won the best uh, best bladed bait, over 30 bucks, and it was a pretty interesting combination of a, of a blade on the front but a hard body cray on the back. Where was the inspiration? Um, well, I don't mind fishing chatterbaits, so I sort of wanted to make one, and um, you know, crayfish seemed like a, a natural presentation for it, so yeah, had a go, and it's actually a moulded lure, it's not timber this time, so yep. that was a new process for me, and yeah, had a go at it, and that's what's come out. Awesome, it's, it's got a lot of moving parts, that lure, it must make a fair racket underwater. Yeah, well, it's sunny new, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I think it's going all right because we're looking for one on the stand here and you've sold out. What are the retail price for them? Uh, $35. 35 so. bucks. So there you go. If you didn't get in and early at the lure show, you missed out on these prize winning lures. Okay, we've now got Randy Keeble from Half Cast Customs and Randy, great looking baits here. They won the award for the best uh, blue water lure over 30 bucks. We've got a $180 bait here and it is an absolute work of art. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, it was just something I come up with to um, share a bit of my culture and fishing, which are my two passions in life. Yep. And just did them for myself, really, to start with, and family and friends as gifts. And they twisted my arm to bring them down to the show and show everyone else. Well, I think every single person walking past this stand comes and has a look at them because they really catch the eye, don't they? It's that combination of, of modern lure design and your cultural background. So it's, it ticks a lot of boxes, doesn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty good. The response has been crazy. Um, although a lot of the people have said they're too good to throw. <laughs> I'd really love some people to throw them and catch some fish with them. <laughs> well, I tell you what, the big angry GTs in this part of the world will definitely eat them. Um, if they want to get in touch with you and maybe buy some of your baits now and they're not family and friends getting from the birthday, how can they get in touch with you? I'm um, on Instagram, Half Cast Instagram. Customs page. Yeah, just there message me on there. Insta famous, right here. <laughs> here we go. We are at the uh, Muggo's Lure stand. We've got Paul Muggleton here. Is this your first trophy you've won? And this one is for uh, bibbed lure under 30 bucks? Yes, Steve, it's my first trophy. I'm um, very wrapped and <laughs> you could have yeah, knocked me over with a feather last night. I'm very stoked to be able to, uh, my peers voted for this yep. and it's a very good honour, a great honour. Yeah, Mate, it's a great lure. for You're selling them here at the Lure Expo for 20 bucks. Yep. Run us through the bait. Okay, um, well, it originally started my main lures are bigger cotter lures and I wanted to go a bit smaller, open up another market towards the bass, uh, even flathead in that yep, way. Yep. So I took an original Thakara and I took his side, side profile, narrowed it down on the computer thanks to my wife and then um, I made a prototype back there a few months ago and I had some good mates out. Anyway, caught a couple of little fish. Anyway, they said, you've got to continue with this lure. This is a success. So, yeah, so that's how it come about. Um, stainless steel eyelets, VMC hooks. So it's yep. decked up for the salt. And, yeah, it's been, um, it's been just really good results in a short amount of time. Awesome. And now if people didn't make it to the Lure Expo and they want to buy some of your lures, how do they do it? Um, my Facebook page. They'll yeah. see them up there and just send me a message, um, my phone number, and, um, yeah, definitely sort you out. There you go, so if you missed the Lure Expo and want to get hold of the best bib lure under 30 bucks, you can call Paul right here. 
here we go. We're on the Grumpy's Lure Stand with Chris Anderson. And Chris, you're no stranger to these awards, are you? And you love talking about them. Yes, I do. <laughs> and yeah, I am. So, yep. Tell us about the bait. This is this. Uh, what was the trophy? It's for what category? Um, bladed Lure of the Year. Um, I actually designed this lure for a trip that I never actually got to go on. Um, <laughs> Yeah, for flicking rock bars in the Fitzroy after salmon and barramundi. Yep. Um, so, yeah, a little bit skinnier body than what I've done before. Change the weight systems in it, just so it actually paddles on the fall and um, on the roll. So you, you can, as you lift this bait, it's got the action, and as it falls, it's got the action. So you can get bites at any part of the retreat. Yep, yep. yeah, that's it. Yep. Um, now, this is a, an upscale version. You won an award last year with a slightly smaller version. Um, does scaling it up have its own unique set of challenges? Um, it does, um, but it's more so to do with the weighting, positioning of the weights through the bait. Um, so. If people want to buy one of these lures and they didn't make it to the Lure Expo, how can they get hold of you? Um, have a look on the Facebook page and get in contact with me there. There you go. Grumpy Lures on Facebook. Okay, guys, we're on the Feral Cat Lures stand now with Greg Cat. Best uh, top water, uh, surface, wake bait, everything that swims on the top, over 30 bucks, and this magnificent creature on it. Tell us about the bait. It must, there must be a lot of work in that. Yeah, there's hours of work in one of those. They, they just take so long. A lot of hand dremeling and sanding and that and making the fins down the back there uh, take a bit of work, yeah. Um, now, we've all seen these things that they, they swim beautifully across the surface and cod like eating them. Um, that level of detail though, it, what is it priced at? If you want to buy one of these baits and, and maybe collect it or maybe fish it, how much are we going to hand over? Well, I've got them for sale here for $300. They're, yep. they're aimed at the collectors, yep. not so much the fishermen, but I do make a few plain ones without yep. the detailing on them for for. Uh, Two hundred dollars, yeah. So. Awesome. So, if you're a collector out in collector land, and you, for some reason they didn't get to the lure show, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, well, we've got an online store, luresforfishing.com.au, and uh, that's the only way we sell our lures, other than here. Yep. And uh, they can contact us with that. Awesome. Now, as a veteran of the lure industry, how does it feel to see such an a, a, a agglomeration of lure makers here in the one place? It's pretty exciting, isn't well, it? Well, it's really exciting. I just love coming here because there's so many new up and coming young guys and I just like to see them carry on the tradition of us older guys that we've been doing for years and it's a matter of um, you love the industry, you love making lures and it's not about trying to make money, it's just about doing something really nice and you're happy, proud of it. Yeah, a lot of really talented guys here at the show and not too many Mercedes is in the car parks but if you want one of these baits, give Greg a call. Here you go, I am on the best stand of the show as judged by the officials here and I'm with Joey Urquhart from Jollop Lures but he doesn't just make good looking stands, he makes the best top water lure under 30 bucks. Joey, tell us about the bait that won the prize. Mate, it's a, it's a new one we designed in the last uh, few months. We've always done the 55mm fizzer, which was hugely popular. Um, so the Brim guys went, oh, what about us? So we listened to you, Brim guys, and we made a 45mm version uh, as well. The bass guys love it too for that skinny water. Now, you've done pretty well. I see a lot of uh, empty gaps on the walls here, mate. Uh, did the prize-winning lure sell better today or yesterday? Like, does winning a prize help your sales? Uh, it definitely does. Today, guys went, oh, what's this hanging here? And I said, oh, we actually won the award, and they go straight to the wall and buy it. So it definitely helps um, and I kind of was pretty pumped when I got that I thought having that trophy there it's proof in the pudding that it is a good little lure. Um, now tell us if you didn't make it to the lure show and you want to get a jollop lure how do people get hold of them? Mate so uh, you can get in contact with me um, through our Facebook page jollop lures and look if I don't have them in stock I have a lot of stores that do stock them so I can put you in the closest uh, one to where you live. There you go Joey Urquhart he knows how to make them and he definitely knows how to fish them. Here's a guy that you've seen after plenty of uh, lure show awards, Matt Fraser from Moramba Lures. Matt, you took another one home this time. It was for a bib lure over 30 bucks. Tell us about the bait. Yeah, this is the, the JD cod. So it's a jointed diving cod lure. Uh, yeah, just a big, big bait that sort of uh, gets the attention of fish, like a territorial big cod chasing yeah. little cod out of the area. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of engineering goes into this one once again. Uh, a lot of creativity, we've got silicon fins, we've got aluminium side fins which give it stability and, uh, and action, um, big alley bib, it's got a whole heap of weights in here actually to get the buoyancy right on it and then it makes a really loud knocking noise in the joint. 
We all know that uh, that Eastern and Murray Cod are pretty territorial, and we just face it, they do eat each other at times. Um, this is a thirty a thirty dollar or over bait. What does it cost me if I want to buy one of those? So. Um because I'm very limited production now, yeah. and there's a lot of time goes into them, they're a $350 lure. Yeah. So well, that's not, over 30 bucks. <laughs> that, that's it. It's uh, yeah. So it's really um, you know a collectible type lure, but the lure show is is there. That, that it's great to have the under 30 and over 30 category now, yeah. but the lure show really pushes the boundaries of the the creative lure makers as well as just you know the stuff you want to fish. And and this is at obviously at the top end of. Uh, the creative and cool lures that are coming out of the Aussie lure makers. Of course. Now, tell us quickly while we've got you here about your production lures you've got out now. You don't long, you no longer have to wait for Maddie to carve one out of wood like you're good at. Uh, quick plug for your production lures. Yeah, no. Well, I've gone into full production, Steve. I've yeah, that's why there's not too many timber lures available. I've I've been over overseas to get a whole heap of new baits done. I've got the budgie and bidgie wong out, and I've got another seven models coming in a couple of months' time, which I'm super excited about. Swim baits, divers, as well as some more surface lures. Available in 50 stores now already around the place, around Australia, and um, once I get a few more lures out there, look out for uh, what's coming and tell you it's pretty bloody exciting yeah i just had a little bit of a glimpse of it too and i can't show you yet but we will show you in due course with our tackle junkie channel well done mate congratulations on the award Thanks, Steve. Cheers. well there you go as the 2019 lure show draws to a close we've brought to you the best of the best when it comes to lures that have been voted on by their peers and both under and over $30, a lot of creativity and a lot of fish catching ability on display right there. Uh, but watching the video is one thing, coming to the lure show is another thing. I can't guarantee it's not gonna cost you a lot of money because you can buy most of the baits here, but you are gonna have a great time if you're a fisherman. So a big shout out and a big congratulations to the award winners and to everyone exhibiting here on a great weekend in Beanley.